All right, what's up, YouTube? We're back again. Um, got a little project we got to get done here. We got to get uh, the K member up under the car and uh, get some of this stuff pulled out the shop. We got a lot of stuff to get off this rack over here and get that moved. Um, got uh, we got Pantigo door coming. They're gonna do us up some new doors, so that'll be nice. Right now, this one over here doesn't even have a spring assist at all on it. So we'll go from that to having some automatic doors in the shop here. Like I said, I'll make stuff a whole lot nicer. Unfortunately, I wanted to get the whole putting the K member back in it on camera for y'all. But, lighting issues. Uh, but anyway, the camera decided last night um after i had recorded probably a couple hours of footage on it that it was going to dump the files and i can't find them they're not there they're not on the sd card they're not on the internal storage so uh, unfortunately we lost quite a bit there i'm gonna try to just go a quick overview of it kind of just took the cherry picker behind me uh pulled it out from pulled the k member and stuff out from under the workbench over there Slid it up under here best we could. Um, got the transmission out from under the car. Uh, that's over there. And then we hooked it up and kind of jacked it up a little bit. Pulled it up with the engine crane. And used the floor jack on it. So anyway. Um, I'm going to do it, just set you guys down and we'll do a kind of time lapse of the rest of it going on really isn't that much left to it just a couple of bolts on this shock tower over here and then pull it down off the jack stands and then um we'll be back to a roller um i do have i do have to put uh let's see i gotta put the battery back in it so i can roll this window up it was um still got power windows and throw the t-top back in it so that way when i push it back outside um while they're here doing the work in case it's raining or something it won't be a you know a problem so anyway like i said i'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse stay tuned and uh i'll kind of bring you guys back i kind of i think i'm gonna do a shot i think i'm gonna get a, try to get a video of them putting the doors in that'll be pretty cool um, kind of see some of the process there. I won't. I don't want to get in their way too much, but hopefully we can put together something for this. Like I said, I kind of lost everything, and I'm starting back over from from scratch. So, anyway, here we go, guys. Stay tuned. All right. Uh, one of the other things I lost in the video from last night was i did an unboxing on this fly power battery it's a lithium battery um says it's supposed to be rated at 700 oh, where are you at? 720 cold cranking amps um i had a lithium battery in it before uh, but the other one i had i think it was about 600 cold cranking amps and it did fine honestly for cranking the car other than the fact that if it if if you had anything else going on um you know if it started and it died and it didn't like it, it just didn't run right from the beginning and for whatever reason you had to crank it a couple of times yeah it definitely didn't like that you always had to throw the charger on it to try to bring it back up so hopefully this one will do a little bit better for us um it came with these terminal things i don't think i'm going to use those but i mean it's kind of i guess it's cool that they threw them in the box but this thing is, I mean, it's super light. I mean, <laughs> unreal compared to a lead acid or gel battery. So anyway, I got that on the charger. It's, it's got the full charge on it. I tested it when I pulled it out the box just to make sure because it was an Amazon deal. Um, had no idea how long it had been sitting around, but it still had a 12 volt um, charge on it when I pulled it out. So that was good. But yeah, anyway, stay tuned guys.
Jack. All right, guys, that's how you don't let a car off of Jack's hands. Uh, I was trying to do it that way because I'm trying to use the engine crane to help out with the Jack because the Jack's got a little stiff spot in it. Um, yeah, clearly it didn't work out for us this time. <laughs> Luckily, nobody got hurt. That's the important thing. I think the uh, problem was that my little strap that I had on it just wasn't just wasn't enough. Yeah, so guys, that's not the way you want to do it. Uh, we had the jack maxed all the way out. Um, and I was trying to trying to do it without having to block up too much stuff. But I was just going to use the engine crane to support it. Well, it turns out my strap that I had on the crane was not sufficient to actually support the load. And it broke. And when it broke, it rocked the car. And when it rocked the car, it fell off the jack. So I probably in hindsight would have been better off just to go with the jack. That's what I normally do anyway. So I don't know why I decided this time to do anything different. But um, probably try to learn from that. If I do it again, I, I think the engine crane without the, the motor in the car was a decent idea for what I was trying to do. I just need to have uh, some better, uh, maybe some chains or something on it so that it, it, it can't break. But anyway... Live and learn. I'm going to set this thing down. And then I'm probably going to call it a night from there. Um, like I said, I got to get back out here and clean the shop up some. I'll probably start on that tomorrow. Uh, might go ahead and push the car out so I got room inside of this bay to move that rack and everything from back there onto this side. Um, like I said, just trying to make room for these new doors that's coming in. So anyway, um, I'll, I'll probably show you all a time lapse of like the cleanup or something. And like I said, I'm going to try to get some footage of them uh, actually installing the doors, kind of get a little bit of the process of that in it too. So I appreciate you guys, man. Y'all hang with me. We're going to get some more done. Thanks.